I want to explore the idea that the anxiety that you've got right now is nothing more than a byproduct of a lack of knowledge and incorrect experiences. So what do I mean by that? Well, I'm essentially hinting to the idea of past experiences that have happened to you and future experiences that will happen to you. So when I talk about lack of knowledge, I'm also talking about lack of preparation, lack of clarity or understanding about a situation in knowing how to handle it when that experience comes up. And when I mean that you've had incorrect experiences, I'm clearly talking about something that's happened to you in the past where you have collected maybe negative experiences or beliefs that have shaped this current belief that if you were to do something, it's not going to go well. So let's just explore this uh, concept um, in the realm of dating. So let's say you've got a guy who he's seen a lady that he's attracted to and he wants to go over, he wants to give her a compliment and he wants to get to know her better. Now, in this scenario, the guy is scared to go over and do it and he misses the opportunity and maybe he feels guilty about doing so. Well, that situation might play out because maybe if let's say it's a past experience that's happened to him, maybe he has gone to approach and talk to people in the past. Maybe he's been socially anxious and it just hasn't gone well. Maybe he's been rejected. Maybe he didn't know what to say, but ultimately it has happened to him a number of times, which now prevents him from wanting to do it again, just to protect himself and his ego from being hurt once more. But also there is a lack of uh, preparation for the event. Maybe he just doesn't know what to say. Maybe he just doesn't know what to talk about or how to communicate his needs or wants. Maybe he doesn't know how to give a compliment. Maybe he doesn't know how to behave with a woman, which all of those things can certainly be learned. But as for things in the past, you have to go a bit deeper and you have to work on those traumas. You have to separate those negative uh, beliefs from those memories and even the experiences as well. If, if, if when you think about something in the past and it brings up a level of emotion that makes you feel really sad, depressed or anxious, then of course, if you think about that in the present or even think about a similar event in the future, of course you're going to be scared or petrified to even do it. Now, in the past, I used to film a lot of public speaking events and I used to film one event which used to train people in public speaking. So they would get people who were brand new to the idea or concept of standing in front of an audience of people and sharing your opinion or points of views or a story. And it, I, one of the things that I loved about it is just how supportive the space was in welcoming new people to share their story. And you'd get people who certainly, they are scared to stand on stage and present because they have had experiences happen to them in the past where maybe public speaking didn't go well. Maybe they were heckled. Maybe people asked really complicated questions or maybe they just felt that spotlight effect uh, in a very overwhelming way and it prevented them from carrying on talking and so they just stood there on the spot frozen and that again prevents them from wanting to do something in the future. But I bring up the idea of this public speaking group because one of the things that they did was actually train people in a safe environment. And by that, I mean where everyone in the room was learning how to do public speaking. So no one could really be judgmental over the other person because everyone was in that same boat. So I want you to consider that the again, the anxiety that you've got is because you just haven't 
prepared yourself for those future events and also because you haven't removed how you feel about those past experiences. So what can you do about this situation? What can you do potentially with your anxiety to reduce it where it's no longer an issue? Well, one of the things that I definitely recommend to people is having a go at exposure therapy, which certainly in like the public speaking example, or even with the dating example, going to either a coach or expert who can put you in a safe environment for you to practice and develop your skills, as well as train you with the knowledge and understanding of how to handle your fears and anxieties in those circumstances or hell even being better prepared for a situation is only going to override those negative thoughts and experiences and the more positive reference experiences that you can get that will in time replace the negative ones because you're also challenging your limiting beliefs here and telling yourself or in fact maybe challenging yourself with, hang on a minute, yes, I've had bad experiences, but I've also had really good experiences. So which one is actually the truth? And of course, the truth is that both are right and and both are wrong. But by getting more positive experiences, it's going to say to yourself, especially subconsciously, that you know what, this is okay to do. This won't be so bad. And so you'll be able to go into future circumstances where you will be able to handle the situation because you now know how to handle the situation. So for the example of dating, if a dating coach has been able to teach you what to say, how to bring out your authenticity, how to stay grounded and calm and actively listen to someone that they're talking to, then they're going to go more prepared into that situation and they'll get better results. For someone who's doing public speaking, the more they can learn how to handle their anxiety before they get on stage and also how to practice and prepare the stories or information that they're going to share to an audience, then when they get on stage, the more comfortable they're going to be, or maybe not to start off with, but they will get to a comfortable phase much faster than they would before. So definitely exposure therapy is something that can make a big difference to working on future experiences, but also working on your traumas by seeing a therapist or working with me with integral eye movement therapy, which does detach those unwanted emotions from uh, memories and experiences, when you then think about those past experiences, they won't be so bad. It's not to say that your anxiety will disappear completely, but the way in how you feel about that experience will change. And then it will give you the ability to at least try the uh, event that you're normally scared of. So if let's say again in the example of a guy is afraid to go and talk to a woman he's attracted to because he has been rejected in the past and he's afraid to talk to someone again because he doesn't want to be embarrassed or feel ashamed or anything like that, then maybe removing how he feels about those past experiences will allow him to test the change and again, have that exposure therapy happen and get positive reference experiences um, that will then make all the difference. But ultimately, with both of these, with the exposure therapy and working on the past traumas, you are then having the ability to challenge those beliefs. And ultimately, it's challenging those beliefs which can make all the difference. For people who just accept the situation that they're in, they are just fueling this perpetuating cycle of that that limiting belief must be true. Why bother talking to someone when I know it's not going to go well? And then when they eventually do it because they've just, well, maybe they've either been pushed into the circumstance, but they're going into it with a very poor attitude 
then of course it's not going to go well. And then they will let that shape their belief even more. But if you can challenge your belief and trust yourself that when you go into a situation, a future event, that it will go well and that you want to challenge the belief, especially if you know other people are capable of doing it, and maybe you aren't right now, but you know other people are capable of doing it, then why can't you be capable of doing it too? So again, this is where exposure therapy is great and also working on past traumas can make all the difference with getting you results and moving forward. So I am a life coach and an integral eye movement therapist and I do help my clients with not just holding them accountable with their actions for their date in life or just life changes in general, but also I can help to remove or reduce those feelings that you have about past experiences that might be holding you back from moving forward. So if you are interested in working with me, then I'd love for you to check out my website below. I'm also doing an offer at the moment for testimonials and reaction videos. So do check that out as well because I'm offering a pretty big discount on my coaching if you're willing to share or part ways a little bit with your story in a video format for my channel. And I would love for you as well to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I wanna hear as well in the comments below, what kind of future events are you scared of experiencing? What future events give you anxiety? And maybe what things have happened to you in the past that also give you anxiety, maybe towards those events. So I look forward to hearing your responses and also your thoughts on this video. And again, if you do wanna work on your anxiety, reach out to me and let's have a chat as well. But till then, Enjoy the content on my channel and uh, look forward to more videos too.